Hi, I'm Matt Kiwi with the Independent Record and 406 MT Sports. Sportsbet Montana recently launched their app. It's a great tool for conveniently placing a bet while practicing social distancing. Like any new technology, there were a few hiccups. Hopefully this video will help you navigate through any difficulty. If you notice that a clip seems incomplete, I did cut out anything that showed personal or private information, like my bank account, address, passwords, etc. Before we get started, you're going to want to have a few things ready. Make sure you have your Bluetooth on your smartphone turned on. And then make sure you have your login info ready for your bank account. Finally, you'll want to have your Montana driver's license handy. Up until we actually need to place a bet, all the prep work can be done in the comfort of your own home. So now the fun begins. Search Sports Bet Montana in the App Store. It'll be the first thing that pops up. Download it if you haven't already, then open it. In the top right corner of your screen, you'll notice the buttons to register or log in. The registration process is very straightforward. Once you've registered, you'll be able to log in. Before placing a bet, you'll need to deposit money into your account. Before depositing money into your account, you'll need to verify that account. When you click on the silhouette that represents your account in the top right, you'll see an alert and it's highlighted. Click that highlighted text and you'll be taken to a screen that will prompt you to upload photos of your driver's license. Choose the option that says take photo or video. You'll take a photo of the front and then the back of your driver's license, which I'm going to skip to save some time. Verification will take about 10 seconds, give or take. The app still might say that your account isn't verified. Don't panic. Check your email. You should have at least one email saying that your account is verified. Open the app and log in again. That process is like hitting the refresh button. As you can see, I am all verified and good to go. However, I was still unable to deposit. If you encountered this problem, click Menu in the bottom right of the home screen. Move over to Info. Click Contact Us. You'll have options for how you want to contact customer service. I was able to chat with a live representative. Explain the problem. They'll ask for your username and your birth date. After about five minutes, they'll resolve the issue. Once that is resolved, you should be ready to make your deposit. Earlier this week, the debit card option was not working. However, if you're banking online, the ACH option on the bottom is much easier anyway. Select ACH and determine the amount you'd like to deposit. Click Proceed to Pay. Type in your email address and phone number. In case you couldn't tell at this point, this is definitely not anonymous. If you want anonymity, then you're going to have to use the touchscreen terminals. Enter the security code you'll receive via text. Click Continue. Select your bank and then simply type in your login info just like you would if you're checking your accounts through the bank's website. You'll receive another security code which you enter here. Once that completes, you'll press continue again. And finally, here we are. You'll want to return to the app. Your balance still says zero. Just close the app and open it again. Your balance should be there. Now we get to place our bet. Everything is pretty easy to find. I'll be betting a pick I gave out my last column. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers to make the playoffs at minus 125. For this bet, you'll head over to the futures section of the NFL. Scroll down until we find what we want. When you click it, an illustration of a ticket will pop up. Click the ticket, and here's why you need to have your Bluetooth turned on. You need to be near a sports betting kiosk in order to place a bet. How close? You literally have to be standing inside of the establishment where the kiosk is located. For this video, I went to the Rialto in downtown Helena. I made several attempts without entering the bar just to see if it would work. I even tried to place a bet while standing literally right next to the front door of the Rialto. Nope, didn't work. Finally, I tried placing a bet standing just inside the entrance, probably three feet away from where I was during my previous attempt. Success. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions. My email and Twitter info is at the bottom of the screen. I'm Matt Kiwi with the Independent Record and 406 MT Sports.